I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for September, Leo. Now, your overall month ahead, you're likely to get some of those Oprah aha moments this month where everything just falls into place and makes more sense, okay? But of course, to do that, there's always support and challenging situations. So you generally don't get those moments just when things are sailing along um, perfectly, you know, in calm waters. So, uh, you know, when you are up against some challenges, uh, try to you know look a bit deeper and to see what does this really mean what are you getting out of it how are you growing um, etc etc for it to make more sense okay now career and money so a new moon on the 16th is in your second house which is all to do with money and possessions and it indicates that there's a new start coming of finances so that's good news it can also indicate that it's a time for you to just relook and review how you manage your money and you know you, some of you might even go out and consult like a financial advisor or or just really analyze what you're actually spending your money on every single day or week and where you can cut back because you know what all that small change cutbacks sooner or later will grow into you know larger amounts and be worthwhile so it, it can also mean mean that um, now Pluto goes direct on the 18th so this for you Leo it's important that you don't keep any secrets at work I mean certainly there are some areas where you know you don't have to tell everybody everything I mean they may need to just have it on a needs be basis but I would be careful keeping any um, secrets that you don't have to because it's likely to unfold a little later and the finger will come back and be pointed at uh, pointed at you so sometimes this can be an awkward situation um, but I you know in this case I would just look after you first and um, you know you can't you can't look after everybody so I would look after you first and then you know let everybody else fend for themselves which is not easy for Leo to do because you're such a giving generous person and you want to be there for everybody but you know recognize it's not possible and sometimes it doesn't matter what you do somebody is going to miss out or somebody is going to be you know rejected or um, you know feel that they're not getting a fair deal okay and so you can't be responsible for everything all right now love and romance so on the seventh Venus moves into your sign now it's only there for a three-week period so um, you want to like be careful about you know how you handle this energy because you want to use it to your most advantage now community affairs will be highlighted as well and connections with friends so what you want to do here Leo is, is use the Venus energy to of course for love if you're looking for love but to get out there and network and connect with people who have a higher purpose in life and if you can do this it'll be very satisfying so you can really if you're thinking about supporting uh, some groups on a community or charitable level then think no more this is the time for action and it's the time where you can really be you know get in touch with the people that can help you take up a position where your talents and skills will be used okay rather than a position where you're going to be just put in the background which is you know a total waste of of your attributes okay now your uh, lucky numbers for the month are 7 18 19 and 21 and i put your dynamic days down as the 18th and the 19th around this day you can really gain some more clarity and vision and understanding of what's happening in your life and your purpose of life it's like a deeper understanding of your purpose so we've done the whole circle now and come back to those aha moments that we started with all right so a yeah, very interesting time coming up um, have a great month I'm Jennifer Angel thanks for watching